la 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 J.D. Nigel, Word of Truth. From Threatening Skies over Bols Chica. Weird, weird bubble, bubble wrap up there. <laughs> Wait, do you see the devil? <laughs> you see that fucking devil right there? Right there. Oh. Right there, right there, Sam. Horns, eyes, nose. Right there, right there, there's a devil. Right there, right there. What else do we have? Man, there's all kinds of beasties up here. Dragon, dragon. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a little out of my mind, but it's weird how the phone, when you look through a camera, I don't know why that is. When you look through a camera, or a binocular or something like that. If you look through a lens, different things appear. It's really weird about that. I, I'd love, it's gonna be interesting to find out in the last days, it's gonna become known why the camera, why the camera shows us things that, that we can't see with our naked eye. Some of you know what I'm saying. So we've been talking about huh, the time we're in right now, this time, this time has come, the end has come. The end comes over and over again. It's, the, it's always the end. It's already been finished. The Lord died on the cross. I'm just going to keep going. I'm not going to pray. I'll just pray. Heavenly Father, thank you. We love you. Amen. Because I want to get this done go to work figure out what I'm going to do about this tailgate hope I don't break anything I'm trying to get that mower in and out fucking lazy fucker I should have instead of drinking I should have been figuring out put some wood on there for now so I can at least use the truck without breaking something like a dummy but anyhow um, we're talking about this time of restoration in Jeremiah 32 and if you're afraid of the world and it's easy to be afraid of the world because we see it crumbling we see it we see these damn Chaldeans these Babylonians they're they're walking zombies. They're all, they're, and they're not all that way. There's people that are so close. They're like, they have good in them. And those are the, those are the lucky ones that are going to, they just don't have bad intent. They don't, they're not like the devils that have been sent to me to, Play with my good side and fuck it up and try and destroy me. They're just, they're good people that are actually using the world and they don't have any evil intent. I, I meet the nicest people at the, at the Turks down here, the bar I go to. Um, for a dive bar. The level of schooled, intelligent people that come in there. I mean, I don't know if it's because it's in a rich area. I don't know if it's, 
I don't know. I don't know. There's a really high level of uh, individual that generally goes in there. They're they're good people. It's it's an interesting deal because a lot of times dive bars will have fools coming in there and causing trouble and being stupid and just low level creepy people. But so when we talk about this restoration of people, it's like. Some people fear God, but they don't know that they fear God. They just do things to his will because they know it's right. And uh, they don't they don't have the intent to do wrong. So I just wanted to throw that out there before I continue because I don't know what these um, some of these zombies are doing. I just know that I've run into a lot of really wicked and I see it and I we see we see them pushing their systematic government power plays on us, their laws, their regulations, their They want us to be afraid of them and not God. So when in this part of Jeremiah, Jeremiah is saying, you know, the Lord's gonna make you afraid of him if you if you're really with him, you'll you won't call him Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. You're not going to call him your God Vishnu. You're not going to call him Buddha. You're not going to call him anything. You're going to call him Father. Don't fucking hit me. Don't destroy me, Father. Please give me something good. Not a not a snake. <laughs> right? Not a stone. I'm hungry. Don't give me a stone. Can't eat that. So, um, I'm just going to read a little bit more and then I'm going to finish off. I'll probably make this one short. I just want to make a point about this whole idea that we've been going through about um, time has come. The time is always at hand to turn back towards the Lord and go, Heavenly Father, I bow before you. I honor you. I exalt you. Please take care of me. I know, I know I'm in your hands. I know I'm, it's your will be done, not mine. Just give me my daily bread and completeness and shalom, peace, well-being and complete, com, complete, completeness, completedness. So here we go. Um, God will bring good to his people. This is the same chapter it started with. Um, the Lord talking about Jerusalem and Judah and saying how, you dumb fuckers, you turn your back on me, you fucking turn your back on me, bitches. You motherfuckers. So what did I do? I starved you out. I confused you with my own words. And that's that's what we got it. That's another thing we need to take out of this lesson right here part of the reason there's famine and pestilence is because the Lord has confused us with his own word this book isn't designed for just anyone to read I went into that yesterday that's why that story of whoever it is Galahad or I don't know the Merlin stories where the swords in the stone right no one can pull that sword out except, I don't know what the kid's name was. Galahad, was that it? It's the, it's the theme of the story that's important, not the names to me. Not everyone is supposed to pick up this book. That's what the meaning of that analogy is, is that everyone's, everyone says that they've pulled the sword out of the stone, but They didn't. So, it's not everyone is supposed to pull to speak this book. So he's saying, "You guys have really t 
twisted my fucking whole name. You've you've defiled my name. You've defiled my character. You've blasphemed me. You've stabbed me in the back. You've turned your back on me. You're not listening. You little fuckers. So I'm gonna, I'm starving you out. I'm making you sick with with my own word. I'm causing you to eat my word in the wrong way you're now you're sick and some of you are actually picking it up and thinking you're gonna um, slay somebody with my book and you're gonna fall you're gonna fall on your own sword that's not my sword you're gonna fall on your sword the shit you say is gonna come back and stab you in the back because you're not speaking rightly of me Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Wakakwadash Kwam Yasharala Stupid. Stupid. So we're, we're, how do we get restored? We listen to the prophets. We listen to the ones that actually are wielding the sword correctly. The ones that hurt us the most are the ones we probably should be listening to. The ones that are the most hardest to believe, those are the ones you should listen to. The ones that throw everything that you've been taught back in your face and leave little fucking wounds all over you, those, those are probably the ones you should listen to. That's my opinion. So once you realize the difference between bullshit and truth, Get your feet back on the ground, get your boots on the ground, and get your head out of the clouds. And actually look around and go, Evil's not under the Euphrates, evil isn't under the South Pole, evil, evil's Evil, the opposite of live, spelled backwards. Live spelled backwards is evil. Why? Because you're dead. You're not living. You're you're living. You're dead. So, verse forty-two, Jeremiah thirty-three. For thus said the Lord: Like as I have brought all the great evil upon this people, so will I bring upon them all the good that I have promised them. A lot of zombies. I've made I've made you all zombies. I've starved you out. I've slain you with my my own words because you twisted them to your own vain imaginations. The shit you have been eating, you thought was good, has made you sick. You're you have pestilence, and the fields shall be, and fields shall be bought in this land, whereof you say. It is desolate without man or beast. It is given into the hands of the Chaldeans. <sighs> we think that they're they're taking this from us. They've convinced us. What are we saying? We're saying, what what field are you going to buy? Everything's been given to these beasts. I have nowhere to go. I'm, 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 it's desolate out here. I say that. It's desolate. Look, it's desolate. Where is everyone? Where's the real people? It's been given into the hands of these Chaldeans. Men shall buy fields for money and subscribe evidences and seal them and take witnesses in the land of Benjamin. Men shall buy fields for money and subscribe evidences and seal them and take witnesses in the land of Benjamin. I own this shit. I 
I have the authority to reclaim this place. This is my place. The Lord told me, you're one of mine. You're a Benjamin of Judah. A long time ago, 20, 25 years ago. And I've been riding on that for a long time. Trying to figure out what that means. It means I'm right. Just right. Just right. Just right sloughs off of me. I'm I dwell safely. I already know I'm I, I'm I'm covered. I got it. I got this. I've pulled the sword out of the stone over and over and over again. Do people understand? Do people believe? Some do. My brother Valentine, he's got a heart for God. He knows, he understands that we are we are this we are these witnesses. Men shall buy fields for money and subscribe evidences. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm showing you the evidence. I'm I'm proof positive, guaranteed. Signed, sealed, delivered. I'm yours. What are you going to do with that now? Now. What are you going to do with that now? Turn you off, J.D. Dijon, because I hate your attitude. <laughs> you fucking arrogant fucker. Do what you will. If it hurts, deal with it. And fields shall be bought in this land whereof you say it's desolate, it's been given to the Chaldeans. Just looks that way. They don't have any power over us. Men shall buy fields for money and subscribe evidences. Then I'll close out. I gotta go to work. I can't I can't just sit here all day and talk about the Lord. Um they will sign deeds. Um, <laughs> uh, take witnesses in the land of Benjamin, which means in the lowlands. Why, why are we in the lowlands? Man, that's a good study. The Dead Sea is one of the lowest places on earth. The lowlands, the Dead Sea. It's a great study. You want to study... Look into lowlands in the Bible. What does that mean, the lowlands? Goes back to the Negrieve, the Negrieve, the ne Negrieve, the Negro part, the dark skinned people. And that's why these fucking black Hebrew Israelites piss me off. They're like, they're claiming to be these lowland people, but they hate Benjamin. What the fuck? You don't have to be black to be of the degree. You are the lowlands when you've been fucking run over by the steamroller. You've been crushed. You're low. We're crushed right into the land. We're right crushed is low. We're crushed down as far as we can get. I'm crushed. There is no... There is no Benjamite that's standing up, dancing anymore. We're crushed. We're, it. We're, we're crushed right into the land. We are the evidence. We are the evidence of the land. We're, cru we're steamrolled. We're part of the land. We're steamrolled. We're, we're part of the dirt. And seal them. Sealed. Signed, sealed, delivered. Sealed. And I will seal them and take witnesses in the land of Benjamin in the places about Jerusalem and in the cities of Judah and in the cities of the mountains and in the cities of the valley and the cities of the south. The Negrieve. The lowlands. Man, 
Maybe I'll do a lesson on the lowlands. That, that'll keep us busy for a couple weeks. For I will cause their captivity to return. When? Right now. You got to believe you're already there. You got to get it through your thick skull. Stop eating that pissed on pestilent sickening bread that you've been eating from GMS, from Creep Creepshow Dollar, TD Snakes, these fuckers. Yeah. Tithe now and get all the blessings. No, listen to Benjamin and get all the blessings. I will return them. I will restore them. I will bring again their captivity. Who are you captive to? This is serious shit right here. Who are you captive to? Because we're all stuck in this desolate place right now. It feels really dry and there's no spirit. There's it's dry. It's hard to it's hard to feel the water coming out. This is the ever flowing waters that are coming out right now. Who are you captive to? Are you going to be captive to the Lord, or are you going to be captive to these Chaldeans, these dark magicians out here that are that have no bread? They have no. They have nothing to offer. What do we grab hold of? What do we grab hold of? How do we how do we make sure that we don't get plucked out of his hand? We um we believe on a God that we should be afraid of. Because he has everything, he's in control. He'll feed you what he wants to feed you, and you eat it. Whether it you gotta know who's feeding you. Why do you think the priests did the sacrifices and all that? They they cooked the lambs and they cooked the food and they fed the people and they cleaned up and they they handled they handled all that stuff. The priests and the nethanims, the servants of the Lord that worked the temple, the singers. Why were they doing these things? For, for you they have the authority they have the responsibility they have the re ability to respond to what's going on around them They day to day every morning I woke early every morning and I got up on the steps and I sang and we sang the song that needed to be sung that day and we said the prayer that needed to be said when we ate All those things that had to be done day to day to keep us in the sealed comfort and safety. Dwell in safe, dwell safely. Doesn't always have to be extravagant. 
or drastic. It just has to be safe. Shalom, well-being, peaceful. Find the peace in your life. Get it, get away from these liars, these these weak-minded, scheming, plotting fucks that are around you. Do your best to not let them know what you're up to. They just want to get in your head and get fuck get you fucked up. GMS, man, they're great at it. They're, these guys are top level. I don't mean spiritual life lessons. Those guys are a joke. Some people are tripping on them, but um, GMS is way more dangerous. Sakari, IUIC, these guys are dangerous devils. So that's all I got for today. Um, restoration, restore yourself. Know that he's already. it's already been done for you. You'll need to be searching for fucking fallen angels coming out of the Euphrates or out from under the South Pole or fallen angels. Well, fallen angels, you might want to watch out for them, but they're not, they're not trying to hurt you. They're trying to help you. J.D. Nigel, word of truth. I'm out.